こんにちは、皆さん。今日は、マウント・コイアで。はい。Today we are at Mount Koya. And this is part two、uh, of our walk to the temple. So if you missed out on, on part one, you can go back and check that one out. This is the second part. And we're going to continue our walk. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to turn you around now and give you a look at this shrine. Again, these vertical wooden, wooden beams are tombstones with names of family members etched on them. And a little place to burn incense. And we have offerings for the souls of departed loved ones. Some of these, as you can see, are, are newer. And some of these are much, much older. Someone left a drink behind. The way it's placed makes me think it's more of an offering than litter. So we're going to continue our walk up the mountain. And then a little bit later on, we will be at the temple. And then after that,、uh, Koyasan Village,、uh, Ikimasho. Oh, goodness. Look at that tour. Don't really want to get behind those guys. <sighs> Look at all of these down here. I wonder what's going on with this. Guy has a very loud voice. But I think we are near the temple, so let's proceed down this way and check out the temple. Look at this tree. It starts out as one. But as it goes up, it becomes three. Almost like the kanji for mountain itself. Three become one. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. I've gotten lots of,、uh, lots of good comments and I appreciate that. The Great Forest of Japanese Cedar in Okunoin and the Special Seed Trees. The Great Cedar Forest, trees from 200 to 600 years old, standing along the approach to Kobadayashi's mausoleum from Ichinohashi, the entrance to Okunoin, has been registered as a perfectual natural monument of Wakayama. Uh, there are totally 1,300 big trees, and even huge trees higher than 50 meters, 165 feet. Among those cedars, with a tag as shown below, are designated as special seed trees by the Ministry of Agriculture. A special seed tree is a tree that has a good shape and excellent wood quality.、Mm. Wakarimashita, she understands. She is picking up what he is laying down. She might not be the rock, but she can smell what he is cooking. All right, up ahead we have some sakura blossoms. Unfortunately, my, my trip started a little bit after the main. The main、uh, sakura season. So I have yet to actually find any sakura trees. 
cherry blossom trees. But here at Kobodayashi's Mausoleum, you can see how these trees have yet to even begin to bloom. See them starting. And over here we have one that is in bloom. Did we cross this little hashi or bridge?
Listen. These appear to be tiles with uh, pictures on them. These trees are just amazing. Cell phone technology is great, isn't it, folks? So we're back on the main path now. Headed up to Temple. He has a little Mekong for a snack. Mikan is a type of orange or Japanese tangerine. Weather up here is beautiful. It's a, I'll tell you, it's a nice 68, 70 degrees here. And you walk through patches of shade, it gets a little cooler, and patches of sun, it gets a little warmer. Couldn't ask for better weather. Here's a Buddha. Just two young, youngins with him. Rows upon rows upon rows. I think they said uh, something like 15,000. Upwards of 15,000. You can see where people have placed rocks along the edge of this tori. This place over here. Holy moly. It is overgrown with moss and it looks so cool. This would be a family mausoleum with the remains of people from a long, long time ago. This is the, the mausoleum of the Matsudahara Hideyasu and his mother. These mausoleums were erected for Matsudaira Hideyasu and for his mother in the year of 1574. These buildings are all made of stone. I'm 
we are approaching the, the temple at the top. You guys have made it with me. It's only taken us 45 minutes, but we are now here. I can see it coming up through the trees up here, so I know we're getting close. giant stupa. take a quick walk around the temple and I'll end this video and then we'll uh, pick back up in Koyasan village a little bit later on. We got this little guy over here. Even the smell of incense is strong. monks inside, taking care of the shrine. And then over here, we have many different Buddhas. Statues of various Buddha deities are arranged here. The faithful pour waters on the statue and prayer for repose for their deceased loved ones. So, you see people taking the ladles, pouring the water on the Buddhas. And remembering their dead loved ones. 
Here we have a little dam and a creek. The stairs that lead down to it. I suppose you could cleanse your feet after your long pilgrimage. All right, guys, we made it to the top of Mount Koya. There's more path to go. I think this would be a, a good spot for us to uh, end this one video. Like I said, I will return soon with a video from the village. But for now, I'm going to walk around and take this thing. So yeah, if you're if you're planning on coming to Japan and you're going to be in the Osaka region, the Kansai region in Osaka, this place is a must see. It took me about an hour and a half to get here on the train. And for about thirty dollars you can get for about $30, you can get a round trip train ticket from Osaka. You get an all day bus pass to go wherever you like. And you also get the rail car pass that takes you up the 45 degree mountain. That train was amazing. But here we are, this giant temple. Unfortunately, this is probably where I will stop because we want to respect our hosts. And no photography. Shashin Janai. So, this seems like a good place to bring this to a close. Thank you guys for following along with me. Leave any comments you might have below. And click that thumbs up button and hit subscribe for more videos. I do still have a, a lot longer to go on this trip. And I'll be making a lot more videos for you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Johnny.